Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Eagle Mining. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about why I'm mining Flux with my L3s, what's my end game, and is it even profitable for me? So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm doing over here, and this probably gives it away. I'm looking to start a node, and I have had a chance several times to buy into Flux, and I haven't. I sound like a broken record. Flux was, you know, 30, 40 cents, I didn't buy into it. It went to a dollar, I was punching myself in the face. Then Flux went back down to about 45 cents. Again, I didn't pull the trigger and it went back up to a dollar one. Now uh, Flux is at 78 cents and it's still a little higher than what I wanna spend on it hoping that it comes down a little further. Am I hoping that crypto in general comes down? No, I hope crypto keeps going up, but I don't think we're gonna get out of this bear market in this year. Uh, I think that we may start to see recovery much deeper into this year and we start to see it turn up, but I don't think until next year that we really will see uh, that big change that we all were really enjoying just last year. So, that's really where it's at. And unfortunately, like I said, I think that uh, crypto is going to come down dramatically again. And when it does, I will be buying into Flux with money out of my own pocket to buy it because I don't want to miss it again. And I do want to start some of these nodes. Um, but in the meantime, I figure why not mine it? Um, right now it is profitable there's no reason not to do it so for me it's profitable so let's go ahead and just start looking at some numbers i'm going to break it all down for you show you what i got going on here so let's go ahead and uh, take a look first things first here on a mineable if i'm mining uh flux <clears throat> i have uh let's see uh, i've got three l3 pluses on it right well, i have one l3 plus and two l3 plus pluses they're all at stock they're running about 505 mega hash and for the power also we'll go over that um, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and in here <clears throat> let's go ahead and just go ahead so let's put this in here so let's say um, 505 so that's basically what it is uh, per month right here so i'm getting about 49.1 uh, so let's copy that let's put that over here and so that's giving me about $38.47, okay? So about $38.50 for round numbers uh, is what I'm getting. Now, let's go ahead and look at some numbers for what I'm paying for electric and what I'm earning for my, uh, my miners. So what I did was I took a screenshot of my PDU right here. And to get those numbers, we will simply bring up my calculator and I'll put that right over here. And all we do is multiply the volts by times the amps, and that gives us our watts. Now it's saying about 2,100 watts, but let's get an exact number. Let's not just go with 21. Let's get the real number and find out what I'm really getting in here. So let's go 250.1 times 8.59. Man, here we go. So now we have 2,148. So it's a little bit more than what this just sort of rounds it to the number. So now I have three of them running in there. So let's divide that by three. And that gives us 716 watts per miner. Okay, so now we know what I'm getting per wattage. Let's go and bring up miner stat. In here, I went ahead and put in my uh, 716. Uh, I'm getting about 505. I am at seven cents per kilowatt hour. Now, that's because I changed my electricity rate. You've watched my videos. I've talked about this several times. If you want to watch that video, I've never put one of these key cards up. I think, no, do I point here? Yeah, I point here and I say it's going to be up over there, right? I got to get used to this. It's up there. Click that. I'm going to put one of those little cards in there <laughs> so you can, if you want, click on that and you can watch my electricity video and what I did to change my electricity rate where I was able to average seven cents per kilowatt hour. Now, None of this is financial advice. None of this is what you should do. Um, you have to do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. And when it comes to your electricity rate, you need to figure out if it's the best for you. For me and my setup, it works for me. If you watch that video, you'll understand a little better what I'm doing uh, to get this great rate and being able to be more freely uh, able to mine all these different coins and tokens and feel more comfortable about it. So anyway, if we look right here, we see it's going to cost me about $1.20 a day. All right, so now that we have that, so we know we're costing us $1.20 a day. So let's go ahead and bring this back over here. 
let's go a dollar um that's probably wrong there let's do that again a dollar 20 a day times that out for 30 days and let's go equal and that's 36 dollars a month okay so for 36 dollars a month and let's go over here and let's bring that back up so that means i'm making a whopping two dollars and 47 cents so about two dollars and 50 cents let's just say that i'm making per month per miner um extra so i plan on buying into flux anyway so why not mine flux and get a little extra money sure how much flux is it really going to be extra you know i'm getting two dollars and fifty cents um let's put that in right here 250 i'm getting an extra 3.2 flux per month okay it's not per day that's per month you know is it worth it well i mean if i was to buy into this coin and just buy it straight out why not mine it and when i do i can get an extra you know three flux every time so if someone would say hey every time you want to buy 100 worth of flux uh, we'll give you 105 flux. Well, I was just about to buy it for 100, you know, uh, flux. So you're going to throw me 105 flux. So yeah, that sounds great. Of course, I'd love to take that an extra couple flux. I, I know it's small. I know it's minuscule. I know it may seem inconsequential, and people may turn their nose up at it. But if you're going to mine and you're mining towards something, why not get it for free? I, I just don't see why not. So this is what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this. It is giving me a little extra flux uh, per uh, day, per week, per month. Not much, but I might as well. If someone's going to give you something for free, um, I see no reason, especially if they're going to give you money for free. I see no reason why not to. Now, that's also this number here with flux at 78 cents. A flux was a dollar. Flux has been down the last few months at 40, uh, 45 cents. Let's go back. Let's go six months back and take a look if we can find. Here's 42 cents back here. Let's go back over the year. We saw that dip back here at 41 cents. This is where I was talking about flux at around 40, first 43 cents. Then it went up and then it came back down and it went back up. And this is where I was going to buy it back then. And of course, it went up to a little over like a dollar thirty. Then it dropped back down. I didn't buy it. I saw it going back up. I was all pissed off. I was like, "Damn it!" You know, I should still buy it. I didn't buy it. It dropped down again. I didn't buy it. And then, of course, flux went up to I think it was like a dollar one was its peak over here. That says ninety nine cents. So I think it was a dollar and one cent uh, when it peaked up again. Now it's dipped back down. We know flux rewards are cut in half now. The happening just went through. Um, what like just like three days ago um, so uh, that's that but nonetheless it is at 78 cents I believe that flux is and I believe crypto in general is going to slide back down I think it's gonna I don't think we've seen the end of this bear market I don't think we'll see the ending I don't think we'll see recovery out of this until deep into the year right up to the the new year uh, to be honest before i think just before the new year we'll start to see that recovery and start trending i think in the new year uh, a year from now i think we'll start to really see it go up uh, how long will it really take who's to say it could take two years but in the meantime if flux can stay at a decent number um, i am going to continue to mine it it is profitable for me not by much but it is profitable like i said if i'm going to buy it anyway why the hell not so uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. When I look over here at rewards, if I was to have this, I would be getting 19.43 flux per month. Now, you will get the 11.43 flux per month. That goes directly to your wallet. I use Zellcore wallet. And then the other eight flux is in other flux tokens of parallel assets. So you would need to convert those to flux um, and pay the transaction fee in there, the gas fee. Um, but nonetheless, you would get an extra eight. So really you're getting about 19.43. Let's see what that comes to in today's money. Um, so about $15 a month you're getting in rewards for having this one. Now, um, that's again at today's prices. So to earn $15 a month, 
you need to spend $780, basically, $782.50, basically, to get yourself $15 a month. I know that doesn't seem that great. Uh, it really doesn't probably blow much wind up anybody's skirt, but I think flux is going to go a lot higher. I, 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 I don't, what am I going to predict? $5 flux, $10 flux. Uh, I have no idea to, to be dead honest. I mean, I think if we go out and we look at, you know, uh, a bull run, uh, what were we at back here? You know, around, what was it? Around $3. So we hit about $3. There is no question in my mind, not financial advice, it's just my, my thoughts. But if we were at $3, I truly believe that Flux could easily hit five, if not a lot higher. Now, let's just go ahead and pull that calculator out. And if we are getting, uh, you know, I think it's probably, probably simple math to see, um, without having a calculator, but let's just multiply that out by 10 bucks. So if Flux was to hit 10 bucks, this node would then be making $194 a month. So almost 200 bucks a month to have this node. And I'll tell you what, that's not bad. And I truly believe Flux will get that high. I do. I truly believe Flux will get there. And I look forward to those days. Um, I'm sure we all are. But in the meantime, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it. And that's my end game. The end game is honestly going to be to get some of these uh, nodes. I would love to have two or three of these by the time we get out of this bear market and get into a little bit of a more stable uh, or at least into a better market where we are now. Um, I would love to see $30,000, $40,000 Bitcoin, and I'd love to see that be the bottom, you know, not 15000 like we had just a, what, a month and a half ago. Um, so I would love to see those days coming. I'm sure they will be coming. It may be a little longer than we all want, but they will be here again. And when it does get here, I would love to have three of these uh, is my is my goal. Um, I would love to have 150 of these, <laughs> but my goal is to have at least three of these. So I would love to have three of these when the time comes. And if that time does come, um, that'll be around, what, 600 bucks uh, per month that I would be making in these nodes. And that's a reasonable number. So, uh, you know, if I was able to buy it at 40 cents, that would be around 1200 bucks. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see when it comes. I'd love to know in the comments down below what you're doing. Are you mining Flux? Are you, do you have a node already set up? Do you have several of these set up or is it something that you're looking to do? Uh, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. But like I said, I've got the L3s mining. I'm going to get the GPUs going on Flux. I took them all down. I actually have one of them out here, the eight card rigs, because I was going to bring them outside to do a little cleaning, a little spring cleaning. I did a whole bunch of spring cleaning in here. Um, and I was going to bring these out there and dust them out and, uh, you know, do that. But it started raining, so I haven't done that. So in the next day or two, I'll get these outside, clean them up real good, bring them back in here. And I'm going to put both of the uh, eight card rigs, that's 3060 rig and the 3060 Ti rig at 16 cards. I'm going to have all of them on flux along with these miners on flux. And if you want to humor me for just a minute longer, uh, let's go ahead and bring up the calculator. And let's just let's just do a little crazy math here. So I've got seven. <clears throat> I think that's thirty-five, thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five, thirty-five. So if I have seven L threes running, and I've got that here, that will be three hundred and forty-four flux per month on just those L threes. Now I haven't done the math. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's 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 get crazy here. You probably already close this up and you're not watching anymore but if anybody's still watching <laughs> let's just go ahead and put this on now these numbers aren't exactly right because they're not very efficient uh, let's put the 3060 and where's the 3060 ti do you see it uh, yell if you see it there it is let's put eight of those in there and let's um I'll hash and let's make sure we're at seven cents. Don't forget seven cents. Watch that video. Calculate that out. And let's see flux. So I'm getting about three and a half flux um, per day. 
so let's pull that back. 3.5 plus 11.5, let's just say. So I'll be getting about, uh, you know, 15 flux um, per day. So divided by the 15. So in two months, two and a half months, um, I would have enough flux uh, to start a node. <clears throat> so not bad in about, uh, like I said, about two months, right? 66, no less than, yeah, two months, two months and just a couple days, um, I would have enough for a node just by mining. So if I can do this and I could sustain this and I can afford to keep paying the power, um, because don't forget, I'm not selling this, so the power's got to come right out of my pocket. But if I could sustain this and keep this going, uh, every two months I'll have enough to buy a node. That means within the one year period that I feel that we really have uh, in this bear market still, um, I could theoretically get six of the uh, nodes. So I could get six of these nodes, uh, the humanless nodes, um, halfway to a Nimbus. And that's also if I don't just buy some flux, uh, if the price comes down low enough, I may just buy into some more flux anyway. So here nor there, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm looking to do. Um, and that's where I'm at. Comments down below. Love to see them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know where the button is. It's right over there. Let's check out any of my other videos. I'm going to have one right up over there for you. I appreciate y'all checking in. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Go Eagles. I'll see y'all later.